Welcome back. I'm excited to introduce our next guest. Louisa Heyman is the author of Get a Move On. I didn't say it, she did. So <laughs> we're going to let her tell us more about where that came from. But Louisa, welcome to the show. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. So tell us a little bit about your story. There is always a great story behind a super book. Uh, well, thank you for the compliment right up front. Um, yeah, so I have always been a pretty active person. I like to hike and I've always done uh, water aerobics on a regular basis and I swim. And my idea of the perfect vacation is one where I can walk on the beach and go swimming and snorkeling, et cetera. And then in um, 2014, um, I was driving to the dog park and a drunk driver uh, passed out at the wheel and crossed the center line and uh, hit the car in front of me and swerved around and hit me head on, even though by that time I was already all the way over on the shoulder. So uh, anyway, I ended up with a broken neck and a totaled car, but I uh, didn't care about the car. So um, I was in a neck brace for uh, about three months and then it was a pretty long recovery period because I couldn't move at all. I couldn't turn my head. I couldn't lift my arms, blah, blah, blah. So um, I went from being a pretty fit person, pretty energetic um, to being able to do absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. And so when I was finally starting to feel better and I could move around a little bit more normally, um, et cetera, I uh, had to start getting back in shape in teeny, teeny, tiny pieces. And so that was really how the whole concept of mini workouts um, got started. And um, so I would do something for literally 15 seconds or 30 seconds, and then I would have to stop and rest. And then a little while later, I would do something else for another 30 seconds. And then eventually that became 60 seconds. And then 90 seconds and then it was you know instead of two times a day it was five times a day and then it was 10 times a day and as i gradually got stronger um i realized that even once i was really feeling better and i could start walking again and i could even start going back to the pool um that doing these little mini workouts were just a great way to keep my energy level up during the day and to um, you know, help keep me focused, keep my brain in gear, because every time you do any kind of little motion, uh, you're sending blood to the brain. Uh, so that's really how the whole thing got started. That's, I'm sorry for the accident, and I'm so sorry you had to go through that, but what a great outcome for you. So you're back, you're back to 100% yes. performance, right? I would say 98%. I think, you know, there's a, a little bit of something that, you know, I, I don't quite get 100% back, but I got 98% back. And that is really fantastic. That is fantastic. What a blessing. You know, my yeah, husband absolutely. broke his neck. How long ago did, did this happen to you? Uh, it was 2014. 2014. Oh, man. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. My husband broke his neck about, well, when he was in college, um, there was a rock wall. And the person belaying him didn't have gloves on because they didn't know oh. what he was doing. And the, the people managing the rock wall didn't give him any. And so um, as he was coming down, the rope burned the belayer's hands and he let go. Oh my gosh. And oh my goodness. Isn't that horrible? And so my husband fell about 25 feet and has and had broke his neck as well. And I feel the same way that like what an amazing opportunity for him to like not be paralyzed. However, now we're experiencing a lot of the residual side effects. And so I'm, I've been really excited to learn more about the exercises that you do. So hopefully, you know, Jeff can maybe do some of them and help him start to recover even from his broken neck many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. Well, you could, whatever age you are, whatever has gone on in your life, you can always get stronger. You can always do a little bit more. And so my approach is, look, don't feel guilty about what you have or haven't done. Um, it's just, um, if, if uh, I may uh, quote uh, Dolly Parton, if you don't like the road you're paving, if you don't like the road you're on, start paving a new one. Yeah. And there's just so much that you can do. Um, really, a lot of my whole approach is, I, I take a look at, what do you do all day? 
-hmm. And most of us waste a lot of time every single day. Um, And you might say, well, no, but I'm a really busy person. I'm working, blah, blah, blah. But really, how much time do you spend staring at the microwave waiting for your coffee or your tea to heat up? How much time do you spend standing at the stove, like waiting for the water to boil or waiting for the, you're getting ready to take a shower and you turn on and you're waiting for the hot water to come up or you're in the car and you're driving and you're stuck at a light and you're waiting for the light to change. And these little bits of time add up to a lot of time over the uh, course of a week. And so really what you can do is anything, just move. So Mm -hmm. in the car, Obviously, you're not going to be doing anything, um, you know, big movements, but you can do isometric movements. You know, you can press your palms together. You can do little arm movements while you're waiting for the light to change. Um, You can do butt squeezes anytime, anywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, while you do, I have a whole routine that I do in the kitchen while I'm waiting for my coffee or waiting for, you know, fill in the blank, the toast. That's an interesting thought. So like, would you be able to like kind of share what you're, what your coffee routine is? I'm curious. <laughs> you know, I can. I can. Um, yeah, it's one of those things. And if anyone ever actually saw you, you would feel ra- quite foolish. But anyway, yeah. yes, uh, sure. So, um, so if if it's a thirty second thing, I have this little routine I do. So sometimes I'll just do um, like if I'm really sleepy and maybe even hadn't had my first cup yet, I'll just do something very simple. Like I'll just you know, just do some um, bicep curls Mm -hmm. and I'll just do them. And I'm not even, I don't even have to open my eyes and do that. Um, Other times, if I'm waiting for like a minute or something like that, I have a little routine that I've made up for myself where I start at the top. So I just go, uh, I just, you know, reach up overhead like that. And then I go out to the side and then I do, you know, these things. And then I do some tricep, um, lifts and uh, so I just kind of go from top to bottom Mm -hmm. and then um, and then the latest thing I've been doing this is the part that would be really embarrassing is that when I get to the end of it I go done (laughs) (laughs) right as your coffee comes out of the microwave (laughs) the the microwave goes ding and I'm like yay I love it well, just so. since you've said this, for the past 60 seconds, I've been doing the butt squeezes and uh, I'm already <laughs> sore. I'm already sore. So it's totally working. There you go. There you go. So you can do butt squeezes anytime. Um, one of the other things I do, I mean, and this is, if I had to choose one out of the whole book that I think is, or one exercise that I think is really the most, um, has the most impact and really just incredible how much strength you get from it. It's what I call the squat sit stand. And so everybody's, you know, everyone always says, oh, do squats, do squats, do squats. And it turns out once I was doing the research about, um, because, you know, I have all these routines and everything, and um, I have a lot of uh, background in exercise and uh, yada, yada, but there's always new thinking and so forth. So I wanted to make sure that absolutely everything I said in the book was well-researched. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so I started doing research around squats and I uh, discovered that apparently a lot of people do them with bad form and hurt their backs. Mm-hmm. And, you know, as we all know, uh, n- nothing will derail fitness faster than an injury. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I thought, well, what is it about it? So, I mean, uh, well, if you just think of it as squat, that means stick your butt out, sit, put it down on a chair or a bench, mm-hmm. stand up, squat, sit, stand, squat, sit, stand. So mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be anything elaborate. Um, you don't have to worry about where your knees are. I mean, these are never supposed to go past your toes. Mm-hmm. But if you're just sitting down and then standing up, um, yeah, you're not going to injure yourself. Mm-hmm. And so, and everybody knows how to sit down and stand up. Yeah. And well, I love get, that. I love that your book is, focuses on form also, because just like you said, you know, like you do it wrong and you can injure yourself mm-hmm. even with some, you know, have, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but like, even like sleeping, you can tweak your back, just sleeping right. wrong. I did that the other day and took me a week to recover. So mm-hmm. I love that you're putting the form in with it as well. Right. And the fact that there's research in there makes a big difference because otherwise I know when I first read the title, I was like, get a move on. Oh my gosh. 
my mother told me that all day long. <laughs> There's exactly. got to be a little more to it than that. But the whole idea that these are things you can do for a minute or two during the course of the day, throughout the day, mm-hmm. makes so much sense. I've mm-hmm. been doing a seven minute workout for years. And when I have seven minutes, I just do it once. When I have half an hour, I'll go through it four times and then say, oh, yay, don't need to do it the rest of the day. Right. But something so smart about doing activity throughout the day, whenever you have that moment. So how has the feedback been? How, how are people receiving it? Well, the, uh, the feedback has been really, really positive. And uh, of course, you know, every writer loves to hear that. Um, ev- everyone wants to be appreciated for whatever work they do. Um, and it's been really um, rewarding. Um, I mean, not, of course, it's great to have people say, oh, I loved your book and oh, it made me laugh. And I, I always like to hear that. But um, the most rewarding is, um, when someone says to me, you know, I started reading your book and I'm thinking to myself, well, how much difference can this really make? You know, 30 seconds here and a minute there. And then says, and you know, I've been doing it for two weeks and I have, I feel better than I've felt in years. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that to me is just the most wonderful compliment I could possibly get. Absolutely. And just like as a testament to what you're saying, like, Last month I got sciatica from sitting too much. Oh. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. This is embarrassing. And so I decided, you know, I'm gonna have to, when I have like work calls or whatever, I'm gonna have to stand up and walk around and move around. And if they hear me huffing and puffing up the stairs and that's what they're gonna hear because I have to take care of my health. And yeah. you know, that went away so quickly. And it's just, you know, the little things that we do make such a huge difference. And that's one of the reasons that I love your book and, and, you know, the, the change in philosophy to just get a move on. And especially after COVID just, you know, we're all used to sitting down a lot more than we ever did before. And so I'm really, I, I think that this book could not come at a better time. Right. Well, I, I, uh, I hope a lot of other people will feel that way too, because I know from personal experience, when you just move, just move all day. It doesn't have to be a big deal. Mm-hmm. You just feel better. You have more energy. I, I, I mean, I know that before I started doing this, um, I admit I've always been uh, someone who really likes a little afternoon nap. Mm-hmm. And um, I may not sleep, but I've always really liked to uh, at least have a, you know, lie down and read or have a little quiet time in the afternoon. Um, but, you know, the more active I am during the day, and I'm not talking about necessarily going out and doing an hour of aerobics or whatever, but I just kind of keep my energy level up by moving a little bit here and moving a little bit there. And, uh, and it also keeps your, you know, your brain more engaged. So, yeah. That's super. And I definitely think there's, there's something to be said for reframing exercise to movement. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Totally agree. Just staying in motion is something we all want to do until our last breath. And and exercise is something that most of us don't want to do ever. (laughs) I love that. That's a total mind shift and it totally makes sense. I love that. So thank you. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great reframe. So Louisa, where can people find the book? Well, Amazon is the place where most books are sold these days. Um, So that's an easy place. You can get it as either an ebook or as a uh, paperback. Um, It's also available at barnesandnoble.com. Um, and any local bookstore, and I am a great supporter of local bookstores, but any local bookstore can get it for you, even if they don't carry it. Um, you know, for bookstores, it's really a challenging environment these days because there are so many titles that come out every single week. They cannot possibly carry them all, but they can order anything. So if you want to support your local bookstore, just call them up and say, have you got a copy of Get a Move On? Mini workouts, anytime, anywhere. And if they don't, then uh, you ask them if they can order it. And um, they always can. And they can usually get it pretty quickly. Uh, but of course, if you want to start today, all you have to do is uh, download the ebook and then you're you know, good to go. Perfect. Well, we'll give we'll give uh, more information in our blog, and I know you have a website also. Do you want to give that to us now? I do. It is mini-workouts.com. 
So I, uh, and I, I try to keep up with a Facebook page and uh, I just hired a 17 year old to help me with social media. So I'm hoping that I will up my uh, website a little bit sometime soon. So, you know, in the great strategy, the great yeah, my strategy. demographic, we didn't grow up with that stuff. So uh, <laughs> I feel no, well. but find the people who know how to do it. Absolutely. So absolutely. You. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming to share with us today. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. So thank you. It's a pleasure. And we'll be right back.